<laughs> hey, I have brought Miss Jojo Siwa here to find love. You do realize I'm counting on you right oh, now. Oh gosh, she's like, yeah, so you better be finding me my future wife. And I'm like, oh gosh, the pressure is on. Yeah, what if? This actually is how I find my future wife. Well, I think it might be. Like, how did you guys meet? Well, it was this really fun day. We were filming a video with Joey Graceffa. We met behind a curtain. My partner's <laughs> like, I was behind a curtain, and she liked my shoes, and yeah, now we're here. Could you imagine? That would be the I best can, story. And that's what's gonna happen. So, JoJo, basically, you're going to have several rounds where you'll be eliminating based off the looks and what you ask them. So. Okay, I feel like that's actually gonna be really good for me. Why? Cause I, I've tended to either A, be like extreme best friend with someone and then fall for them. So then I know everything about them and then I fall for them. Or I'm like, ooh, you're really like, I like, I like your face. Okay. And then I fall for them. I so I think getting moment. to like talk to them before seeing what their face yeah. looks like, but not know everything about them and not know them for years is gonna be good for me. Okay, well should we get started? I'm nervous. Okay. Are you guys nervous? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. They're not. Why am I nervous? No, we are all nervous. No. You're nervous? We're, Why? We're literally nervous. all nervous. We're all hugging back here. Aw, y'all are sweet. Oh. Hi, number one. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm doing well. You're doing well. Okay, my first question, and this is for everybody. You're all single, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> is anybody not single? No. No. I just tend to fall into that trap a lot. That's horrible. Not down ever again. Oh, are any of you from Florida? I'm going next week. Where? Boca. Boca Raton? Yes. Love it there. Yeah, yeah, I have family there. Anybody else from Florida? No one. Okay. okay. All right, all right, number one. I can't know their names yet, right? No, you can know their names. Okay, what's your name, number one? I'm Jamie. Okay, Jamie, number two, what's your name? Mia Love. What? Mia Love. Mia Love. Oh, she Mia has love in her name. She's Mia looking love. for love. Mia is that, love. <laughs> is that Italian? Italian? Wait, it's actually not, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Jamie, Mia Love, what's your name, number three? I'm Ronnie. Cute. Okay, number four, what's your name? I'm Jasmine. Jasmine, okay. Number five? Um, I'm Diamond. Diamond. Number six? Rowan. Rowan. You've got people with really cool names. I don't know what anybody looks like yet, but really great names. <laughs> great we got a name. Diamond, we got Mia Love, we got a Rowan. <laughs> We got, like, we're really, really getting by me. Okay. <laughs> what are their hands on the screen? I love it. <laughs> stress, more stress back there. I can feel it. Okay, okay, okay. I wanna, okay. Oh my God. I wanna hear what everyone does and how old you are. That's like a good first gauge for me. So we got your name. How old are you? What do you do? I'm 21. I'm a senior at UCLA right now studying business economics and minoring in film. And that's pretty much it. I've been like volunteering with dogs over the summer, just spending time with friends and family, pretty much. Oh my god, that's Love so that. sweet. That's awesome. Okay, number number two, what's what's your what's your spiel? What do you do? How old are you? I am 22 years young. I turned yes. 22 in August, so very recently. Oh, Leo, and happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I model and act full time and live life to the fullest. That's it. Oh, you got camel pants on too. <gasps> Bonus points. Um, <laughs> all right, number three. What's your What's your scoop? Um, I'm 25. I'm a musician. I play bass, guitar. I produce, um, and I'm also an artist. That's sick. You said you play bass. I do play bass. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Wow. I made an awful joke yesterday that I can't. I can't say in front of them. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> There oh, we what go. What was it? Nothing. 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 Maybe I'll tell you one day. Okay, number four. What do you do? Where? What, what, how old are you? Okay. Hi, I'm 25. I am a full time supervisor at Purple Mattress. Yeah, hot. She's good with the bed. <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? We got a pieces. We got good with the bed. Really, really doing well here. All right. Number five. What do you do? How old are you? Um, I'm 19. Um, I model for skincare brands and I'm also a manager at Sephora. Work. Um, okay, and last but not least, number six. I'm uh, 25 years old. I'm a writer and a stand-up comedian. Stop it. Give me a joke. I'll tell you my joke if you tell me the one you just said. <gasps> no. All right, back over to number one. <laughs> okay, we got a good age range. We got a 19 to 25. Yep. That's that's great, actually. That is like that's my like ideal. Age wow. range. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is so scary. I know. 
but so fun. I'm having the best time. I don't know if you're having the best time, but this is so fun for me. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, I know a fun game I want to play. Okay. I kind of want to go in reverse order, though. Okay, yeah. I've been going one to six a yeah. lot. No, let's I switch it up. I want them to ask me a question. Ooh. I want to know what their like gut instinct is. Okay, but this is, is the last one for this round. Okay, this is the last thing for this round. This is a good yes. thing to end on for this I round. I agree. Oh, should I start, or should I start like in the middle? Can I go the first? Oh, yeah. someone wants to go first. Yeah. Okay, okay, sure, you can go first. It's crazy because I actually already thought about this. Wait, <laughs> what number? You're number two? Uh, yeah. If okay. you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? Well, that's a good question. Like literally anything. When I was young, I wish I would have let myself believe that I was young. Because I look back at being 16, 14, and at the time, and like you knew me at this point in my you life You were too. a full grown adult. I was a full grown adult, yeah. and I believed I was too. Yeah. I was like, I'm 14, I'm old, what are you I talking about? I was literally about? so impressed, last Thank shocked you. whenever like I'd be around. I was like, this girl's a business woman, and Thank she you. is a, a teenager or it's, a kid. And now it's weird for me to see 14 year olds and be six yeah. years older than them and be like, Whoa, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think I would have let myself be more of a kid. Aww, Damn, that got sweet. deep. Okay, anybody else got a question? What is an assumption that people make about you that is completely false? <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one. Number one, that I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> it circles on the internet like every four months. People that are like, is... you're pregnant. And then this last time I finally okay. fed into it and then Stop. people got so mad at me. And I was like, well, if you actually watch the videos, you'll see that oh I'm very God. much so, I was like donating things to moms who were in need and like people fell for the clickbait. What else? Uh, I mean, you all have only heard me in here, and obviously in here I'm gonna be loud and talkative in this situation, but I'm actually like a really reserved, quiet, if it's a choice of going out or staying in, I'm always staying in. I would say I'm pretty introverted, but I can put it on and I can go out and I can be this like crazy loud outgoing and have the best night, but like I prefer to be like quiet and shy. I like how you ended that. Um, Thank you. Which brings me to my question for you. Like, how do you find your peace of mind again to like circle back to know that everything's right and center? That's a really good one. I have a really fun hobby, indoor skydiving, which has become like a sport in my life. And that, I realize I like it so much because it's like all I can think about while I'm doing it. And so that's really become like a, a safe outlet if I just need to like not think about my career or not think about work or if there's drama going on, I can just go to the tunnel and fly and forget about the world for a minute. Oh my God, okay, now I have to eliminate? You have to eliminate two. What? Yes. Also, can we do one where you just like go over each of their shoes and what you think? Really yes, fast? I would love to because okay. I've been in my head analyzing their shoes this whole time. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you tell you what number four, five, and six are giving me masculine energy. Oh, okay. I did not ask them. This is I should have asked this in round one, and I don't. I want to save it for round two. Yeah. To make it more interesting. Like I okay. like masculine. Okay. And I like to be the more feminine one in the sure. relationship. Now I don't think it matters that much I mean it's 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 2023, you can have two masks, you can have two femmes, yeah. you can have one of each, it doesn't really matter. But for my gravitation, I see four, five, and six, I see, we see the Doc Martens, we see the Air Forces, we see the little runners, like that's, that's giving me masculine okay. vibe. Number one's giving me pure femme. She is a pure femme woman. Watch, she comes out, she's just the most masculine woman I've ever seen in my life. Now Miss Bassist over here, number three. Bass is a gay instrument, it's pretty mass. Oh, she's like, don't count me on, I'm masculine. She <laughs> without saying it, she said she was like, Bitch, I'm Tell me your mask without telling me your mask. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So number three and two give me like, could I be masked, could I be Yeah, femme? you don't know. Yeah, it like it really, really depends. Oh my God, this is also the height game. I'm into a tall person. Number four and five look like they might be shorter. Number six looks like she's tall. But these three got little booties on, so I can't tell. Oh my god, this is stress, and I you love have it. To, all right, let's start with your first pick that you're getting to eliminate. OK. Oh my god, this is so brutal. Please know I'm basing this off of not knowing you guys at all. And I think you're all probably incredible women. Ah, OK, first elimination is going to be number one. Oh. oh. <gasps> My heart oh. is broken. Oh. I'm so sorry, no. No. no! Bring it in, bring it in, it's nice to meet you. You too. Thank you Thank so much you. for Thank you. Have fun. I'm, I'm sure she's great. Yeah, she's so, so, so cute. She's really cute. Oh my yeah, god. She's really fun. Really okay. Who is oh my god! Idiot? Okay, I gotta yes. pick another one! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Fucking hell, this is so stressful! Well, 
I've just kind of psychoanalyzed oh. shoe size <gasps> oh. versus height. True. And I feel like if I was to put my foot up to number four's foot, <laughs> Okay. I've Who's... got like three more sizes on her. Oh, this is stressful. Let's just, let's just, let's just. Oh, I'm sorry to do it to you. Number, number, now number three. So number four originally, but now number three. You know Black what? Is that right? Is that, should I do that? I don't know. Fuck. Oh okay, God. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stick to my plan. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. That that's okay. That's okay, Jojo. Oh, okay, you'll, okay, you'll okay. Miss it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God, this is such a wonderful meeting it's you. It's nice to meet you. You're looking gorgeous. Look at always, this. So I was, I'm I was spot on. I'm yeah, spot on. you can tell by the I feet. The size. tiny feet, you know. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but honestly, when I looked at your feet and I looked at the socks with the cuff, I was like, she's giving masculine. She's giving my tie. Very mask. Oh yeah. my you God, those muscles bigger than mine. Holy moly! We have awesome gym buddies. We still can be. We just can be friend gym buddies. Absolutely. Thank you so well, much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, I need, I need, okay, I need okay. like, a, like a, yeah, like, you know. Sure. And okay. I get to see the pants now, right? So now <laughs> we're gonna go to the next round where we will reveal the pants. Dun, 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 dun. Hi. Okay, I feel like now I can like. Look at those legs. Those hands. <laughs> oh, the hands. Yeah. The hands are exposed, except for number one has an exposed her hands. I number one. Number one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a tease. I'm a tease. <laughs> she was like, you don't get to see those for free. Okay, okay. I can't see the rest of their body, but I can do a height assessment oh, on the hips. Oh, you can Oh. You know, we got some boots on over here. We got boots on, but like hip analysis is giving, she's pretty tall. Yeah. Now we got, look, we got flats. We can hold hands. That's cheating. <laughs> That's cheating. I can't. Fine. Wow. So you said that you had something that you wanted to save for the next round. Oh, well, that was oh, height, right? It was gonna be height, and are you more masculine or more feminine? Oh yeah, ask them. Okay, let's let's find out. Okay, so now we're doing one, two, three, four, correct? Yep. All right, number one, how tall are you? I am five, seven and a half, okay. proudly. She's gotta get that half in there. <laughs> <laughs> good, that's good. All right, what about number two, how tall are you? I'm five, seven. Okay, five seven. Okay, number three. I'm five seven. Okay, five seven. Okay, number four. I'm five six and a half. Work Ooh. five six and a half. So that that half that number one said is making her the tallest girl here. It's very significant. Yeah. Okay, and what do you think of their pants? First of all, number one has the camel look. Number number one's giving me camel. It's giving me special forces. It's giving oh, me a little PTSD. A little but PTSD. Also like, oh my god, I love this. Yeah. Number two is giving me the cool seafoam green. She's the basis. She's got the rings. It's, it's giving. All right. Number three is giving ripped jeans. She's giving shoes. Number four is giving Apple Watch. She's giving jeans with the roll with the Nike. I don't think Nikes. it's an Apple Watch. It's not. It's a Casio calculator watch. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's some gay shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the Casio 9300 <laughs> calculator watch. Bitch, don't you know? <laughs> okay. Do y'all play any sports? Um, I've played soccer for nine years. I did. Oh. Cheerleading, tumbling, basketball, flag football. Also, that's soccer. giving math. Soccer's my new hyper fixation. Oh. Hyper fixation. There's the right word. Yeah. Okay. We should play together. I'm really into soccer right now. She just asked you what i See these soccer skills right here? <laughs> try to get the ball. Try to get it. Try to get it. You know, oh, I used to play soccer all <laughs> the time, but the balls yet. would always hit me in the face. <laughs> and you like that? And I kind of <laughs> liked it. <laughs> okay, wait, so you played sports. Are you more masculine or more feminine? Um, I can do both for sure, really well. Oh, versatile. Period. 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 Just both. Okay, number two, what about you? Sports, and are you more mask, more femme? I love sports. I'm a climber, so I climb every day. Um, like, like rock climbing? Yeah, like bouldering, like indoor bouldering. Yeah. Um, okay. And like top roping and stuff. And I would say I feminine a mask way and mask in a femme way. I love wearing suits with like a bra, so it's like kind of like, yeah. there's like a feminine element to it. Catch me never wearing dresses. Number three, do you play sports, not you mask or femme? I played tennis for a few years. I love tennis. Um, I did pickleball, which is kind of an odd one, but it's so fun. I also did soccer. I was captain of my soccer team for four years. Captain? Yes, Word. captain. Wow, we have a captain of They got competition. I know. And I can do both. I like how I look better masculine, but sometimes I like to dress up. Okay, number four, you're clearly super feminine. <laughs> Love dresses over there with your Casio calculator watch. Thanks. I'm just kidding, I won't answer for you. Do you play sports? Are you more mask, more femme? Uh, well, I grew up doing cheerleading, but like in a gay way. Work. Um, now I box. I wanna watch all the little cheerleaders in their outfits. Mom, I wanna cheer too. Uh, I'm so straight. I shake my pom-poms for boys. <laughs> uh, now I box, and I definitely am more mask. Pow, pow. Fight someone. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Oh, I know what I want to ask them. If we were to go on a first date, what would we do? Love a good picnic. 
Going Cute up picnic. to like meet at Lake Hollywood Park, good view of the Hollywood sign, lay out a nice little blanket, and maybe bring like a game of we're not really strangers to get to know each other. Oh, okay, cool. okay, I like that. Maybe something like thrill rides, maybe like Six Flags. Love just a Six Flags see, moment. See how much of a risk taker, you know. We can oh, she, she's a risk taker. <laughs> she's a bit of a risk taker, just a little bit. I would say I would probably take you on a picnic to the beach. I feel like I was also gonna say picnic, <laughs> but then I was like, okay, but we could go sunset at the beach, and then we go to a concert after. Ooh, what concert? Um, the Fletcher Show. No. <laughs> Fucking hell! Well, all my exes will. No, be? no, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ! No. Were you no. at Fletcher? I was. Yeah, I love Fletcher. Were you all at Fletcher? Were you two at Fletcher? Fucking hell, were you at Fletcher the rest of you? <laughs> I would I would never do that to you, JoJo. The crowd at Fletcher was very scary. Yeah, all right, number one, what's your date? Taking you indoor skydiving. Oh. She listened. That's good for a partner to listen That's, to like things that you really, say. She's really, yeah, she was. You know, I was kind of actually waiting for someone to say that one. I was that like, oh, no one picked up on impressive. it. That's impressive. Number one, number one, I mean, and she's the tallest, so just saying. <laughs> oh shit, this made my job even harder. Oh my God, okay. All right, Jojo, you have to eliminate one more bachelorette this round. Oh my God, I'm torn. <laughs> I'm so scared. This feels so awful. Unfortunately, number two. <gasps> the gas. <laughs> the gas. Oh, Everyone's a. I feel like the question joke was a little intense. Even they were shocked. I know. No, it was funny. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi! Oh my god, it's nice to meet you. I I'm love sorry, it was a Fletcher joke. We probably would have gone to a moon or so. No, no, no. I, I did appreciate the Fletcher joke. Yeah, I liked but... the humor in it. It was good. It was good. It was yeah. clever. You have it was gorgeous there. hair, by the way. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Stunning. Love the earrings. I'm here for it. It's good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for playing. Yeah. Playing at the yes. Okay, next round, we will reveal the torsos. <laughs> Work torsos, okay. Oh my God, it's literally just their faces are covered. Yes. It's time to really get into it. Yeah, we need to know the hard hitting details. Hard hitting details. Did, did you know who I was before you came in here today? Yes. Everybody She's honest. Did. Yes, but the reason's kind of like odd. Okay, I'm here for it. I want to get into it, save it. What about you, number three? Uh, I am a lesbian, so yes, I do know who you are. Period. <laughs> I love that answer. How do you know who I am? Why do you, do you know me? Do you follow me? It's very an awkward thing to ask, but I'm, I'm curious, and it does play a part into this and the decision making, so I just, you know. Yeah. Okay, number one, you said you had a fun story. Let's hear it. I used to work at a pizza shop for one of your good friends, but then like we were all astonished by your look, like everyone at the booth. I was just like, wow, and so I like kept up with you after. I was like, oh my god. My look that night. Yes. Oh yeah. It was, was so cute. Insight. Was the Snapchat logo. Oh. I painted on my face yep. <laughs> with rainbow rhinestones around it. <laughs> Astonishing. <laughs> Very. All right, what about you, number two? What's your, what's your? My JoJo story? Yeah, your JoJo knowledge, I don't know. So, I think I found you because like you were like openly gay. Yeah. And then I realized that you were like the same girl from Dance Moms and my mind was kind of blown after that. Yeah. And I actually like just recently followed you on Instagram. I'm honored, thank um, you. Yes, but I'm happy to be in your acquaintance. It's fun, okay, that's a good story. What about you, last but not least, number three? I mean, I know you were on Dance Moms, but just as a part of like Lesbopia in general, I just know like who you are and what's going on. So you follow Kales. I don't even know what you're talking about. Good answer. What is that? Good answer, lesbian TMZ basically. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, with that information, this you is... now have to eliminate one of these girlies. Elimination from this point forward. It's tough, and I'm sorry to do it to you, but number one. <laughs> okay, the reveal. There she is! Hi! Nice, nice to meet you. It's nice, nice to meet you. Oh my god, thank you. We're uh -huh. just skin, it all fun. makes sense. Yes. Thank you. Oh my yeah. gosh, will you the skincare one? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Skincare is <laughs> fabulous. Yes, get it. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you. you thank too. you. Final round. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, what? Obviously, our, our number one that we eliminated yeah. was very feminine in comparison. Correct. But somehow, we ended up with the most feminine dress and the most masculine dress. Absolutely. You remember when I told you? I was like, it's, I'm like the running, I'm in the middle and I can go either way. Yeah. I have a question. What type of partner are you in a relationship? And are you a good kisser? Ooh, I and are you a top or a bottom? <gasps> Jojo. Yeah. 
Are you a top or a bottom? Reveal in three. Two, oh, she's about one. to say. <laughs> I know what's about oh, to happen. I'm a great kisser. <gasps> Period. Period. Yes. I mean, I have wonderful Yelp reviews about my kissing. <gasps> so. Wonderful Yelp reviews. Wow. Uh, Are you a top or a bottom? <sighs> I go, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little verse. If my mom is watching this, you don't know what that means. <laughs> not, not Mama Rowan doesn't know what that means. Top or bottom, it's um, which flavor of ice yeah. cream. You I know. was like, literally like, going to say that. Something with ice cream, yep. Yeah, that's right. All right, what about you, top or bottom? Well versed. <laughs> well versed. Well versed. So what would you say is like your biggest turn on in a relationship? Like in a sexy time kind of way? Uh -huh. um, is like when we know we're doing something we shouldn't be doing. Oh. She's a naughty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Call it all oh my the girls. Yee, yee. Cringing. <laughs> what about you, number one? I don't know. I really, I'm turned on by deep connections. I like to get to know somebody. <laughs> that oh, come on, you're making me look bad. <laughs> no, that's very lesbian of you. Those, both of those answers are very lesbian of you both. They say we're not stereotypical, but we all are. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this has been really fun getting to know you both. Okay, it's time for the big final Elimination. This Jojo, is an elimination. Who are you eliminating? Ah! Okay, wait. Who do you think I'm eliminating? I already have my answer. I know. I already know who I'm eliminating. Who I'm eliminating, not who I'm keeping. Who oh. I'm eliminating? Who do you think I'm? Who do you think? I don't I'm... know. I feel like you've had a great connection with both of them. Mm -hmm. So. Not the holding hands. <laughs> What's going on back there? There's, that's so okay. Uh, like, hey, I, I hope you get it. No, I hope you get it. No matter what, that will be good. That is. I mean, they're both ends of the spectrum for yeah. you. So normally you said you were looking for more masculine. So I feel like you might be leaning towards that side. But maybe you've been swayed to the the glamour. I want to watch your reaction while I tell you. Okay. The final elimination is number two. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Rowan, reveal yourself. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm sorry, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. How are you? I'm sorry, I feel so bad. This is so brutal. <laughs> Joey signed you up for this, not me. The so now, we just, now she just stays there. We never. And now the choice has you. been made. So, number one, reveal. Oh my god, it's like the grand reveal. This is so exciting. Hi! Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's wow, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love your necklaces, I like your hat. You're so cool, it's fun to talk to you. Yeah. Cool style. I agree. Yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah. Cool. I can pull off a little masculine look, so. No, you're great. You're you're cool, you're feminine. You're Live already, your life. Yeah. It's a good mixture of both femme and math. Thanks. I feel like so, I'm top. That's I think what like really drew me in is I was like, yeah. okay, like from waist down, I was like, oh, she's giving masculine. And then you're top reveal, and I was like, feminine, what? <laughs> and even just like your face, like you're like, you're feminine, and your yes. hair's feminine, and then you got your hat. And you got your little bit of a bow. Yeah. Everyone's got a hat, I, got, I even got yes. my little bit of a bow. Did you do that just for JoJo? I almost won the line, so yes, but I'm not going to, <laughs> so no. <laughs> it's my favorite necklace. Okay, well, you two lovebirds go run off into the we sunset together. We go, we all together. look away, yay! <laughs> <sighs> oh my god, this was so freaking that was fun. Crazy. Well, my job here is done. Let me know in the comments down below who you think should be in a video with me next. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn, bye.